Okay, we're here to review the Ken Onions BOA. It's got a S30V steel on the blade. For the money you pay for S30V is actually a pretty good deal. Now, the specs itself, I think you guys can read on the net yourself. I will discuss certain part that I think um, it wasn't that well designed. First of all, when the knife came out of the box, the belt clip is actually on this side where the blade is, right here. Um, it has these three little star uh, screws, uh, star wrench screws on it that I had to go all over looking for this size to actually take it apart and put it on this side. Um, the reason I find that important is that if you think about it, it's um, kind of really inconvenient for the clip to be on this side because if it's on this side and you pull this out of your, let's say this is your pants, right? Okay, and you pull it like this out of your pants, um, you actually have to flip it like this to open it. Um, that requires a little bit of fine motor skills and practice. And as we all know, during stress, your fine motor skills uh, does not function very well. So I thought that was kind of poor um, um, on their part. So I had to remove the clip to the other side. So now that as you pull it out, if you look at uh, it's on this side, as you pull out your pants, um, you can just directly opening on it. It does have an assisted opening uh, lever on this side, so when you press on it, it opens. However, this, you do have to put some strength. Well, I shouldn't say put some strength. I, I guess you have to push it a little bit harder in order to open fully. If you just lightly push it sometimes it doesn't open um, completely so maybe give it a little time and probably might um, work a little bit smoother okay now a little bit more about the clip the clip I think is also a poor design clip um, because if you look at it, I'll compare it to um, another knife, is that you look at the space um, between the clip and the handle. It's actually very small. And look, as I compare it to this, you see how much open um, that this part, um, the space between the clip to the handle. Let me put it to you this way this space is so small that my pants pocket um, cannot fit the fabric cannot fit directly in so it actually requires you to be pulled to pull the blade up a little bit um, to actually get it into your um, pants and for someone like me that doesn't have too much nails that is not a very good um, thing. Um, if you look at it, it's barely, barely um, grip onto this. Um, it barely has enough opening for this card. This is just a plain Christmas card. Okay, um, so you see how much space you got. It actually doesn't work, especially if you wear jeans. It's not going to clip in um, just by pushing it in. Um, I have other knives that I never had this problem um, that's designed from Benchmade, Emerson, uh, Microtech. They never had this problem except for this only one. Um, I thought that was very poor clip design. Another thing about it is that um, there is no, no um, lanyard loop hole. So I kind of have to... Um, do it did a little bit adopt overcome thing and just hang the lanyard um, onto the clip 
Now, why is this important? I personally feel that Lanyard is important on all the pocket knives because um, if you look at it, if you put this into your pocket and it hides inside the pocket completely, you kind of have to um, dig into your pocket to locate it. If you have the lanyard on the outside, all you have to do is kind of use your pinky, hook onto the lanyard, and you can pull the knife out completely and your hand grip will be in a perfect position to um, open the knife and just grab onto it uh, without um, really locating the knife in your pocket. Okay, so I think designing a knife, a pocket knife, should always have a lanyard loop, um, a, a hole at least. Even as an option, you know, if you don't, you personally don't like it, that's fine. But you have the option to put one on. This, you don't even have the option to put one on. So I find that a very poor. Um, for um, design. Other than that, um, this knife is very sturdy, it's very sharp. Um, the steel is actually a very good steel that holds the edge well, most people agree. And for the price you pay, it's actually very uh, good. You see, I just pushed it. Um, the lever, you notice it's not opening, but you actually have to kind of do one of this to really open it. Um, other than that, I think um, still it's not bad uh, for the price and the steel. Okay?